That flat tasting tea you made this morning? It's your first clue. Here's what really happens when you reboil water. When water boils, some of it evaporates. If you reboil it, the minerals already present become slightly more concentrated, mainly harmless minerals like calcium and magnesium. But if your water source contains heavy metals or nitrates, they can concentrate as well. This depends entirely on the quality of your water. The bigger issue isn't the water, it's the kettle you're using. Heating plastic can release micro and nanoplastics, not billions per cup. That's not proven. But the release does happen and it increases as the plastic gets hotter. If your kettle is plastic, you're adding unnecessary exposure to your daily cup of coffee. A simple switch to stainless steel or glass solves this immediately. Here's the part most people actually notice. Reboiled water tastes different. That flat, dull taste in your tea or coffee. It's because boiling removes dissolved oxygen. Less oxygen means less flavor. Fresh cold water makes brighter, cleaner tasting drinks. So while reboiling once isn't dangerous for most people, it doesn't give you the best taste. And it depends on what's already in your water and what you're boiling it in. Here's what actually helps. Use a stainless steel or glass kettle. Start with fresh cold water each time. If you live in an area with questionable water quality, use a good filter and clean lime scale regularly so minerals don't build up. Smart habits don't have to be hard. Sometimes it's as simple as starting your day with fresh water. Like, subscribe and share. Follow Master Arnold for more healthy living wisdom. Share this with someone who always reboils yesterday's kettle water.